Sorry for the shakiness, I'm on a roof, on the fly, using my cell phone, no GoPro right now, but this is proper nail placement, or I, I should say my personal preference on where to put nails when it comes to a box vent, pipe boot, flashing of any sort, skylight like I'm about to show you, why I'm not a big fan of putting them low and out. Here's the skylight in question, here's the steep roof I'm on, 10-12, 12-12 maybe, even a 12-12, got my cougar paws on, gripping the roof like spider monkey, spider man. So the nail here is really low and out if you ask me in my opinion. I'm not a fan of it because water comes down this edge, gets in here. You can see I can actually pull it out with my bare hand, just fingers lifting up on it. You can see a dirty water trail under here, so water's been getting in around it. If that was dry and solid, there's no way this would be able to pull out that easy. They sealed it, they caulked it. Problem is, is water's going right under this. Now you got a penetration through your roof, you got a hole there, slowly over time, little bits of water trickling in, eventually rot this, you know, not bad, not drop a ceiling, but definitely an issue. So, my personal opinion, bring them in and up a little bit, it's still going to pin this down, you seal it then, but you have no issues of water running that far laterally over, as opposed to just falling in under here. Then there's nothing on the bottom, I would prefer to see one, two, or three. Again, up a little bit, but pinning it down and seal it, because now what you can get in strong winds is wind-driven rain up under here. You can see there's dirty trail stuff up there. This one's right on the smack dab on the edge, so you get water coming down your roof. There's quite a bit of rain hitting this, running down, running down this edge. And it's water tension, water surface tension. It's going to trickle in under this. It's going to get into this nail. Not as bad as this one, but... So, yeah, my... Uh, my short quick tip, nail placement's big, do yourself a favor, make sure your guy's installing or you the homeowner, just take a little consideration where to put them. Another big one I've shot in other videos, just now that it's popped into my mind, here's a drip groove where two shingles come together. There's the shingle under it and its drip groove is probably right there, it looks like it, right there, yep. So this shingle here gets shot down about here under this one and you want to skip an area. You don't want to nail in this spot because water comes in this common bond, this drip groove, and it can get into your nails. So, that's my two cents. Take it from a roofer. Ask a roofer. Let me just start a new channel or a new, uh, new, new playlist. Ask a roofer. Get an answer. Oh, uh, yeah. You got comments? Comment. Let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Got any questions? Let me know. I'll do my best to answer them all. I, I like reading what you guys have to say. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, so hopefully this helps someone out there. Until next time, be safe, stay off roof like this, and see you then.